Okay, do you think that there is a perceptible change in the people's attitude after 2014 when the Narendra Modi government came into the uh, into the center in Delhi? Uh, there started a debate on intolerance yes. uh, or um, what you call award wapsi. wapsi. Yes. Yes. Uh, what, is, what, what do you think? What is your understanding about all these things? Well, you see, once <coughs> the political <coughs> discourse in India changed in 2014, mm. then the criticism started to come from another side. Mm -hmm. And so issues were raised that were kind of reflecting a certain political distortion okay. or an attempt to create a certain uh, political uh, view. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, Hindu reconversion was said to be bad, yeah. but nobody questions conversion itself yeah. as a problem. Mm, yeah. And yeah. we know yeah. conversion goes on in India. Yeah. We also yeah. know it's, yeah. uh, it has financial backing mm -hmm. behind it. Mm -hmm. So if conversion is... is good, then why is reconversion bad? Mm -hmm. And uh, if conversion is questionable, then reconversion may have certain value. Then there's the whole issue of intolerance. Let us be absolutely clear. Mm -hmm. There is greater diversity of religion in India than in any other country of the world. Okay. Pakistan, the Islamic world doesn't have it anywhere. China doesn't have it anywhere. Mm -hmm. The United States has some freedom of religion, but it doesn't have the variety. There even, there's even a greater variety of Islamic sects like the uh, Ahmadiyyas mm -hmm. and like the Shias, Shias and some of the Sufis in India that you don't find in Pakistan who no, are right. oppressed right. uh, in uh, Pakistan. India is the largest and the most open country for Christian missionaries. The Islamic world does not allow them in. China does not allow them in. So when you're criticizing India or even Hindus as intolerant, uh, that is not really the case. And it also is often creating a certain distortion because India was under siege during the colonial and the Islamic periods, forced conversion, uh, prevention of temples from being built or temples actually uh, being uh, destroyed. And it was only since independence that there has been a freedom for yeah. the Hindu community and even some of the other Buddhist Jain communities uh, in India. So they have been the victims of intolerance throughout uh, history. And as a majority in India, mm -hmm. uh, they have a right to have an influence. You shouldn't, the, uh, it's always a fact that uh, there is a certain culture behind a country. Mm -hmm. So India's culture does have this Hindu dharmic uh, orientation and it has a great beauty to it. Okay. So there's no problem with honoring that. That shouldn't be called intolerance. Mm -hmm. In fact, it is the most pluralistic and open of the uh, spiritual traditions. So do you think that this world. narrative of, the, of uh, uh, intolerance is a politically motivated? I would say largely so. Obviously, there is intolerance to some degrees in various uh, communities. At the same time, it corresponds to a period in which there is a jihad mm -hmm. going on worldwide, a terrorist yeah. jihad, in which uh, India is a uh, target. Mm. It's also going on in a period when communism has been rejected all, all over, over the, the world, world. All over the world. But it's still surviving in places like Kerala, mm. and it's a, a Stalinist form. You know, I was just in Kerala, and I drove down the road and saw a uh, gathering of the CPI mm -hmm. of Kerala mm -hmm. with a poster of Marx, mm -hmm. Engels, mm -hmm. Lenin, and Stalin for the gathering. You will not find that anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. So we have found that a lot of the groups that are saying intolerance in India are the ones who have lost power. And mm. I think to a great extent they may also be uh, criticizing loss of power and loss of privilege. But certainly there's always some degree of, of intolerance in different people. Mm. And we should try to uh, reduce that as much okay. as okay. possible, but not target the more tolerant communities for intolerance so do you believe that the Hindus are, by and large, our most tolerant society, a tolerant uh, um, society in the world? Well, certainly history has proved that history. with the, all the refugees of different religions coming to India. The Parsis came to India, the Jews came to India, Christians came to India. Uh, various Islamic sects have also come uh, to India, as well as India having Jain, Buddhist traditions, and Sikhs, and all the rest of it. So I think history uh, bears that out, and the diversity of institutions, and gurus, and temples, and activities uh, we okay. have okay. Uh, here, and accepted. But also, 
things that happened in India. Thousands of temples were destroyed. Yeah, yeah. You know, Shashi Tharoor wrote a book on how the British oppressed India. Yeah. But what the British did really wasn't fundamentally different than what the Mughals or even the Delhi Sultanate did. The Delhi the Sultanate was probably the worst in destroying temples. They destroyed the Nalanda University, which was huge. So it's necessary to accept that fact of history, not to criticize 